Today I'm going to show you how you can get a free trial to Amazon Prime and then how you can cancel it without actually being charged for the trial. So to do this, you're going to need an account on either Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk. If you haven't already got an account, then you can go create one. So what you need to do is you need to come to the link in the description of this video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the free trial to Amazon US and I'm also going to link the free trial to Amazon UK. You can click on whichever one depending on what country you're from. I'm from the UK so I'm going to be showing you how you can do it on the UK Amazon. Uh, but it works pretty much the same for the US Amazon as well. So I'm going to go to the UK Amazon now and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So when you click on the link you're going to see a page like this and you should see a button on either page which says start your free 30 day trial. So we can click on this and what we need to do is we need to either sign up for an existing Amazon account or you need to create an Amazon account. Now if you've already had the trial before you're going to need to create a new Amazon account. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to click create your Amazon account. I'm going to enter a name, an email, a password and then re-enter the password. So after I've entered in these details I can click create your Amazon account. And I'm going to verify the email now. So here we've got the Amazon code which we can copy straight from our email. We can then paste that into Amazon and click create your Amazon account. And now we should have a new Amazon account. And here we can start to add a card so we can activate our Prime trial. Now as soon as you've added this card you can remove it straight away. You won't get charged within 30 days and you can still have the benefits of the full Prime account. So once you've added your card, you can click continue and you're going to need to enter in your address here. So I'm going to do that now. And then once we've done that, we can click use this address and our account should be pretty much activated. What we can do now is we can click on this button and we can try Prime for free. Now it says here that we have a 30 day free trial and it continues until cancelled. So if you don't cancel it, you're going to be charged £8 per month or whatever it is in your currency. But if you do cancel it, you can still have the benefit of Prime within these 30 days and you're not going to get recharged after the 30 day trial. So I'm going to click now, try free, pay later. And now I'll show you how you can go and cancel it literally straight away uh, within two seconds of actually getting Prime. So now what we can do is we can go to my account here. You can then click on your account. Then you need to go to payment options and you just need to remove your payment option off your account. So I'm going to click remove and then confirm remove. Now what's going to happen is you're not going to have any payment methods on your account. So you're not going to be able to get billed for Prime anyway. And then if you go to your Prime membership, you'll see that you've got a free trial and it renews on the 1st of February 2020. Now there's no card on file and you've not been charged for the free trial and you can still use all of the Prime benefits. Now if you then wanted to end it just to make sure that you are ending the membership you can click on end membership then you can scroll down here and you can click this button here which is going to be a remind me later button so within three days of when your membership actually expires and when you're going to get rebuild and um, you're going to get an email telling you when you're going to get rebuild they're not going to rebuild you anyway but just to be safe and um, you can click this button get a reminder and cancel it within three days anyway it's also worth noting as well after just canceling my membership and saying they would end my benefits even when I've cancelled it it says your membership will still end on the February the 1st and you will lose all your benefits then and you will not be charged so even if you click end and remove all of my benefits you're still going to get the benefits all the way up until the 1st of February or 30 days later anyway so you can click end your prime trial and still pretty much get all the benefits anyway I just thought I'd add that in there because I didn't actually know that until I was cancelling this one so Cheers for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.